Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing a requested video, and this is actually a tag video that was created by the wonderful Melinda over on Lux Purse Love. I'll leave her video in the description box down below, and then I'll tag some people who I think haven't done the video either. I'm sorry guys if you have done the video and I'm tagging you. I'm just apologizing for it now. But um, basically, I need to pick five handbags that are all useful in certain aspects of my life. These aspects would be one everyday bag, so that would literally be the bag that I grab and go whenever I go out, run errands, go to the shops, whatever it may be, it's the grab and go kind of bag. The second one is my work bag, or what would be my work bag. The third would be the rainy day bag, so if it's literally pouring down with rain outside. Fourth is the vacation bag, but I have no idea why I'm calling it vacation, because over here in England we call it a holiday holiday, not vacation. And then lastly, the date night bag. Now, before we get into things, if you're new to my channel, then welcome. If you love luxury and fashion, you're in the right place. So please make sure you're subscribed and turn on post notifications so you never ever miss those videos. I post up every Wednesday and Saturday. Without further ado, let's dive into my first pick. Starting with the everyday bag, I would have to pick my mini Evelyn. This is legitly 100% a game changer for me, okay? I'm in love with this bag. And when I mean I'm in love with this bag, I'm beyond. Out of all the bags that I own, this has to be by far one of the most comfortable bags I have ever owned. Oh, I just, I love it so much. <laughs> I know I haven't had it for a very long time. And to be completely honest, I haven't worn it much or had the opportunity to wear it much because I haven't really been out a lot recently. I wore it in the woods, I've been to the shops with it, and it is just such a comfy bag. You don't even feel like you're carrying anything, and I think that's why I love it so much. Also, the leather is so supple and so soft, and that's, it just, it just, oh, you guys. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm hoping that Hermes decide to release a size that's in between the TPM and the PM size because I'm in love with the Evelyn and I've never really been like, especially for the bigger sizes, the smaller size I didn't mind and I always said maybe one day, but for the bigger sizes, I've never quite been drawn to them because I feel like they are way too big for me. I just realized, Hermes Paris, I didn't ever see this until now, literally. <laughs> I use um, an insert inside my bag. I just prefer having the insert inside. Um, when you do put a bit of stuff, it just organizes it. And I don't like, because I've got things like my card holder, which are quite bright in color. The minute I put them in, it just, I don't like the color showing through the perforation. So I prefer the insert personally. I also don't carry a lot of stuff, which is why I put the insert. For me, with the insert is perfectly fine. The fact that the strap is a canvas material, um, it's quite thick, that really does feel comfortable against your body as well. It doesn't dig into your skin. I'm just super happy that I got it. And the color as well, I don't think I realized just how much I would actually be able to wear this when I bought it. I used to think, why do people have more than one Evelyn? It doesn't make sense to me. I understand why. It's not just an Evelyn, it's the most comfortable, amazing bag you will ever get. Moving on to the work bag. Now, my work life is a little bit different to everyone else's because I don't go into offices and stuff like that. <laughs> my work life is at home. So I obviously would pick my Hermes grooming bag for this because this bag is a workhorse, okay? It was made for horses and that's why it's a workhorse. <laughs> it is the most amazing tote bag that I have personally ever owned. Yes, for sure, I haven't owned many, so that probably explains a lot why it is the best tote bag I've ever owned. <laughs> but comparing it to other tote bags, I feel like this is the most practical tote bag on the market. And the reason why I say that is because of all the compartments that come in this wonderful bag, okay? I cannot stress how amazing this bag is. As a mom's perspective and someone who, who has two boys, who's got football practice five days a week, you know, gymnastics, all that stuff, this bag is a lifesaver. And the reason why it's a huge, Lifesaver is because of this pouch that already comes in the bag. This pouch is what helps keep my life organized <laughs> because there is nothing worse than going out and having to dig for certain things. We have three compartments on the inside, as you guys can see. 
this zipper right at the back which starts from here and it goes all the way to the bottom of the bag so you get a really big amount of space at the back you've then also got these side pockets on both sides again look how deep like half my hand is in there and it goes all the way to the bottom and for my kids that play football and things like that you know kits get dirty especially here in england because it gets muddy blah 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 you don't want to put those things inside the actual bag itself because you won't be able to put this in a washing machine and wash it. But this, you can, you can put this in and wash it. So that is super duper duper handy. I love the fact that you've got this huge big pouch because it just helps things keep clean and tidy inside my bag. I also don't need to buy any organizers, which is obviously a plus, you know. You've got your top handle. The top handle fits perfectly fine on your shoulder. So when you're running to catch that flight, <laughs> This is the easiest way to carry it. Trialed and tested by myself. You'll see me, yeah, ready for the plane. And then you can also wear it crossbody. If I did want to wear this into an office, for example, then I would probably wear her this way around as opposed to this way so that um, nobody would see the logo. Although I must say here in England, a lot of people, when they see Hermes, they don't see it as Hermes Hermes the way that we do. They see it as Hermes and Hermes, is, <laughs> it used to be a postal service, which has now changed to every, but yeah. So I think when people saw this, like particularly at the places which I was going to, to take the kids and stuff like that, unless the people were into this kind of stuff, they didn't quite know that it was actually a brand as opposed to the postal service. So people probably thought I was Postman Pat carrying around their mail or something. <laughs> Now we're looking at a rainy day bag and the one that I have picked is my beloved Pochette Matisse. You guys know I love this bag. She helped me get through the baby years with my kids, okay? I cannot explain the attachment that I have to this bag because genuinely there was a time period where I did not wear handbags at all. All I was carrying around was the baby changing bag and that wasn't Gucci, that wasn't anything expensive. When I got this one, it was a game changer because it was perfect, okay? I could start using a handbag again and not have to carry a baby bag, a changing bag. It is so spacious on the inside. You have three different compartments. This is like a microfiber interior. You've got the crossbody strap, which is adjustable. Mine is beaten down and worn to death. The reason why I've picked this as my rainy day bag is because first of all, let's just get the elephant out of the room. It is in canvas, okay? <laughs> Water is not going to destruct this bag in any way, shape or form. The Vichetta is one thing that I used to get a little bit confused by because I've heard people in the past saying, you know, you have to be careful of the rain, you know, watermarks, it'll leave watermarks and da 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 and this and that. I have not actually ever sprayed anything on my Vichetta leather, okay, because I really and truly appreciate the patina. Like for me, the darker this gets, the better the bag. And you guys will see now that there is nothing, not a single watermark on the actual leather. So I remember the first time I came out the rain with this bag, I was like, oh my gosh, no, it's ruined. Oh, I'm gonna get watermarks all over it. And it just dried up and that was it. There was, there was no watermarks, it's just good as new. So it did baffle me a little bit and I was a little bit worried about that in the beginning. She's very, very functional. I've made a whole video talking about this so I'll leave it linked in the description box down below in case you wanna watch it. It is one of my everyday bags so this could have also taken the top spot because I do use it as an everyday bag. It's very, very comfortable, very, very spacious and yeah. Definitely, you guys know I love my Pochette Matisse. We're on to the vacation bag now, AKA holiday, as we say. And this one, I'm going to have to go with my da -da -da -da, Mini Kelly, guys. <laughs> I have to go for the Mini Kelly. And the reason why I have to go for the Mini Kelly is because, and let me just explain myself really nicely. I mean, I could go for a tote, I could go, but realistically, I'm never gonna wear that. And I'm just thinking from the real life side of me, you know, I could pick something that I, 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 I think is a good bag. But if I'm completely honest with you guys, I would never use that on a holiday. I would use this. Whenever I go on holiday, I know I'm going to a hot country. <laughs> I'm not going to a cold country. So I want to be as light as possible. I want to carry not many things. <laughs> 
So my Mini Kelly is the perfect bag and every single time I've gone on holiday, I always take this bag with me. She is my go-to. This one and my green Birkin. Got some color there and then I've got the neutral here and it's perfect. <laughs> I don't want to carry loads of stuff and usually you're in a 30 degree heat country and it's boiling and sweaty and you're clammy and this and that you don't want anything that's too thick or too heavy and something that takes a lot of area space on your body so like let's say maybe the pochette matisse for example so that's why i've picked the mini kelly and i know what you guys might be thinking it's not a practical bag but it's practical for me okay and that's why i'm picking her <laughs> Guys, I don't think you understand. I have just, in terms of what I carry, I really don't carry that much stuff. That's why I've never done a what's in my bag video because you'd be so bored. <laughs> and it would consist of me taking out three, four things and a bunch of receipts at most. So yes, last but not least, and this one I'm going to pick because I've never used her in any other time apart from date night. So this would be my date night <laughs> bag. Um, I just, I just like it because it's a little accessory, okay? It's not practical. And I usually use her as a belt if I'm wearing trousers. If I'm wearing a dress, then I do like putting her as a little bag thingy or crossbody just to add a pop of color, particularly on a black dress. I love this. Absolutely adore it because you've got the yellow on it. She was a mistake in terms of purchases and I think that's why I've made the conscious effort to use her. This is what it looks like on the inside. You can put a couple of cards in there, maybe your lipstick. She is my little date night bag. I also like, if I'm holding it like this, leaving all the chains all dangly, I think that looks super cute and pretty. And when it's against, like, look, I'm wearing a black dress now. Do you see that? Look at that. It just looks so, so pretty. Having a conversation. Hi, hi, hi. But yeah, that would be my date night bag. The little... Fendi, Findace, baguette. Oh, bag, I call it a bag. How dare I call that a bag? Seriously, times have definitely changed. And on that note, as you guys can see, it is dark outside, so I'm probably gonna go wipe off my makeup, get ready for bed. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the weekend and I shall catch you in Wednesday's video. Take care, bye.